The Great Wall of China is really a series of many wall sections that run east-west at the northern end of China. The wall sections were built by inhabitants of border territories thousands of years ago to keep trespassers from plundering local villages. In architecture, the term OG refers to a millwork shape that is half concave and half convex. The shape can be any size and serves as a decorative linear element on parts like baseboards, panels, shelves, or crowns. Buildings are symbols. A monument may stand for important events or the great achievements of people. And on a smaller scale, a home may stand for working class or well-to-do. What we build to stay safe, comfortable, and fulfilled speaks volumes. In architecture, the term brutalism refers to a style of architecture popular for about 25 years beginning about 1950. The style features large areas of concrete, structurally expressive form, and a focus on geometric composition. The site plan represents the view of a property from above. It's used to dimensionally map the location of the buildings and features of a property. Areas of shadow and texture can be added to more clearly represent type, scale, and the height of objects. Paul Rudolph designed the Lewis McKeels House in Westport, Connecticut. The house is stylistically both brutalist and modern. The elevations feature structural elements and physical planes that sit perpendicular and parallel to one another in a visual dance. Candy bars come in wrappers, drinks in a bottle or can, packages and gifts are bubble wrapped, vehicles like cars, airplanes and rockets have exterior cladding, knights used armor, and buildings have a skin, all for the same reason, protection. <laughs>